Hi and welcome to the first lesson in this seven part course in which we will be looking at log lines. What they are, what elements go into writing one, how to write and perfect your own log lines and where you will typically use one. So let's get right on with this. Lesson one, what are log lines and why you should care? If you're thinking of a career in screenwriting, perhaps you've already started, you will no doubt hear ongoing talk of log lines. You will hear talk of them in books and on websites, in courses such as this one and on blogs, and the issue of log lines will probably come up in your conversations with other screenwriters. The thing is, whether you're aware of it or not, log lines are everywhere. If you've ever looked at a TV guide or spent any time on websites such as imdb.com, then chances are you've seen many great examples of log lines. So let's begin by asking the question, what are log lines? Well, log lines are brief summaries of TV shows and movies, usually written in one to two sentences. For our purposes as screenwriters, we will want to write and use log lines to describe what our scripts are about to get to the very heart of the story, to highlight the underlying central themes and or conflicts contained within them. In short, a log line describes your entire story in one to two sentences. Log lines are vitally important and used by screenwriters to provide a synopsis of their entire story to pique the interest of readers, producers and anyone else who might be interested in reading, buying and producing their script. It's also worth noting that a good log line will typically contain an emotional hook that will further grab their attention. Now, it's important to understand that for the most part, a log line is not just a simple summary of the surface story contained in the script such as, a nun visits a man on death row and begins to bond with him. Now, you might get away with that logline, but to be honest, I would personally say that that logline is too generic, too surface level, in that it really doesn't give us much to go on. It tells us the basic storyline, but doesn't draw us in emotionally and make us want to know more. And by the way, that's the main point of a logline, to cause readers and producers to want to know more, to give them something that will make them want to read on. The thing is, you've spent a lot of time writing your script, you've toiled and agonised over every detail, action and line of dialogue, and you know it's good. But ask anyone who writes spec scripts and they will more than likely tell you that getting others to read your script is a job unto itself, and that's where a great logline can help. OK, back to my example. A nun visits with a man on death row and begins to bond with him. As I said, that logline is probably a little too generic and non-specific, but with a little work, we can really begin to tell and hopefully sell our stories. Reworking the logline, how about this? While comforting a hostile and unrepentant convicted killer on death row, who's just days away from his execution, a nun begins to care for him and undertakes to help him see the error of his ways before it's too late. Any guesses as to what movie that logline is describing? Dead Man Walking. OK, let's begin to break those loglines down. With the first logline, we told the basic story. But to my mind, it feels a little too basic. It just reads a little weak. I mean, where's the emotional hook? On the other hand, with the rework logline, we gave the same basic story and then moved on to the emotional hook. Also, with the first logline, we're not really telling the reader just what it means that the nun begins to bond with him. Does she simply begin to care for him? Or does she fall madly in love with him? Or worse yet, does she begin to be swayed away from her faith by the killer's words to become a cold-hearted killer just like him? However, all of those questions are more or less answered in the second example. By telling the reader that she begins to care for him and begins to work towards helping him see his wrongdoing, we begin to get a fuller picture of the story with hints at the direction the movie might take. The thing with loglines, as we will discover through this course, is that although there are certain things we can do and guides we can follow to help us create great loglines for our scripts, there really is no right or wrong. Perhaps a better way of thinking about it is there are basic loglines that tell the basic storyline, and then there are the loglines that go beyond simply revealing the basic storyline. The basic logline may give people the gist of what the script is about, whereas the worked on logline will hopefully draw people in by giving them clues and hints as to what lies at the very heart of the script. Loglines are a great way for you as a writer to pinpoint the deeper story that lies at the very centre of your script, and this is always a good thing to know. Have you ever heard of the elevator pitch? Well, an elevator pitch is a short description, usually around 30 seconds, highlighting an idea, 
product or company that explains the core concept in such a way that any listener can understand it in a short period of time. Well, if you think about it this way, a logline is a writer's elevator pitch in that we should be able to tell others what our script is about in a very short space of time and in such a way that it makes them buy in and desirous of more. Let's face it, readers, producers and production companies receive hundreds, perhaps thousands of scripts every year. So why should they choose yours over all the rest? Another thing to remember is there are very few production companies out there that have unlimited funds. And so, as such, they will have to weed and sort through all the scripts that come their way to nail down the few that they will focus on. Not only that, but they can't possibly read all those scripts now, can they? So the question remains, how do you get them to read yours? And that's where a great logline comes in. And much of the time, it is the logline that they will look at first not the script itself, to decide if yours will be looked at any further.